that, but do you need police or police attendance? Well, I was actually trying to have a conversation with Margaret Anderson at Apollo Bay Station and she doesn't seem to want to answer my questions or give me some documents that I required. Right. And I just think it just seems a little bit like what I would term. If it was someone working for me, I'd fire them for the laziness, but I don't understand why she can't, if she works for Victoria Police as an employee, can't um, answer her phone and yet she makes you guys work harder and she sits there and does nothing. I don't know what the Apollo Bay Police are doing at the moment, but if you want to leave me with your name and number, I can uh, get someone to call you back. Oh, so Margaret Anderson can call me back? I can leave you with her with your number. What's your name? Oh, my name's Joyce Biddle. Joyce Biddle. And your phone number, Joyce? 0417. Yep. 530. Eight seven four. No worries, Joyce. But, I will pa pass it on if you're trying to have a conversation with her. Right? Well, it'd be nice if you could actually have a conversation without her becoming aggressive. And right. if, I just think if she's working for Victoria Police, she needs to be able to. She's made some false allegations and allegations about me, and I just think she needs to be able to. If I ask her a question about it, she should be able to answer the allegations. Like she's claiming some sort of assault where there was no physical contact, yet she and Margaret Anderson and another um, colleague of hers, a Andrew Rolfe, actually find it acceptable to drive into me with the police car when they've been asked to back up and remove themselves from my property. So I don't know where her alignment is when it's okay for her and her partner to assault me, not stop and check that everyone's okay from arrogance, yet she claims some sort of assault when there's not even been any contact or intent to contact. So it sounds like that you've had a fair bit of conversation with her already. Would that be fair to say? Oh, no, because she won't talk to me. She just... It's going to go like on the 9th of March and that's it. And she's very aggressive about it. And I don't, I just think it's disgusting that she thinks that you should work harder and she can sit down there and do nothing. I can't speak on her behalf. Oh, I wouldn't um, expect you to. Obviously, she's, there's a fair bit going on. She's a different person. Um, between you and between her. But I can let her know that you're attempting to speak with her, right? So what's her obligation to speak with me instead of fobbing me off? Like, I don't know, Joyce. If she doesn't want to speak with you, I'm sure she doesn't have to speak with you. Particularly well, if, particularly if um, there's allegations there um, of whatever those allegations may be. Wouldn't but it be I fair? I can't speak because I don't know, Joyce. All right, I, I don't know what the circumstances. Well, wouldn't are it be right? fair if I ask her to explain how she concludes an assault without contact or intent? for her to explain that away to me? Like, well, I would think that would be a pretty fair gonna, question. She's obviously going to wait and let it be explained in court. That would be my, my thoughts. Is that correct? Well, that's a bit of a waste of police time, court time and everyone else's time because I think it'd be fair, instead of me having to sit here and be trying to work out how an assault could have possibly occur without intent or contact that it would be easier if she could just actually explain it like i i if i, if I was making those allegations i would be happy to explain to someone how that could possibly be happening what's on the charge is it alleged an unlawful assault choice yeah i think so yeah yeah so with an unlawful assault there doesn't need to be a physical contact it can be um it can be fear or apprehension caused by another And, and like, so if I fear from the Victoria Police, that would be an assault by police. Is that correct? I don't know, Joyce. I don't know the circumstances. I'm going to leave it at that for now, all right? What I'm was your name again, sorry? Mark. Mark who? Mark, Joyce. Mark who? Your surname? Yeah, I've told you my surname, Joyce. I'm not going to be drawn into to the, the, what's going on, Joyce. There's obviously something going on. Between yourself and the Apollo Bay Police, all right? Well, I think there's I'm probably not, a bit I'm of personal you. vendetta. I think that would be the thing because... I, I've told you that there's different levels of assault and if you've been charged with an unlawful assault, there doesn't need to be a physical, physical element, all right? 
Thanks, Joyce. I've got to get another call, okay? Goodbye. Oh, well, don't waste too much time on me.